We wanted to follow up on this because it's the most emailed article on the New York Times website this week, and it recalls the terror for a woman whose computer was digitally hacked. Cyber thieves use ransomware to demand money if you want your files returned. In 2013 alone, ransomware cost victims more than half a million dollars. Sean Henry is a former executive assistant director of the FBI. He's now president of the cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike Services. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, just remind everybody, how does this ransomware work? When you're talking about ransomware, it's essentially malicious code that is either emailed to people uh, or when you're surfing certain sites, those websites are infected and your browser downloads it and it infects your computer and locks it up. And what type of files are they holding hostage? You know, they're looking at all your files. They're looking at your photographs, at spreadsheets, at emails, um, Word documents, those sorts of things. Everything that you do and create that everybody stores and uses on their computer is completely at risk. It's encrypted oftentimes, and you're not able to seize it or get it back. And as the New York Times article was so popular because the woman who was hacked, she said, gosh, for a couple hundred dollars, if I could just fix this problem, fine, I'll do it. Yeah. But that's that's giving in to the to the to the terrorists. You know, these these are typically organized crime groups operating primarily out of Eastern Europe. They are making millions and millions of dollars off of this on a regular basis. By paying that ransom, it's really uh, encouraging them to continue to do these types of attacks, and these will go on indefinitely. What people really need to do is they need to back up their data. So if in fact it's lost, whether through ransomware or even through a hardware failure, they're able to recover that very quickly. But paying that ransom is all. Always you very, very back difficult. Up in the cloud or somewhere else. You can back it up on a hard drive. You can have a separate hard drive that you plug in. You back up your data. You unplug it. That's really important that it's not connected to the network because then it's also a suspect mm -hmm. to be attacked. Um, but having that backed up allows you to recover, reconstitute your data without paying this ransom. And, and how do you protect yourself in, as much as you can? You know, people have to continue to make sure they've got antivirus in place to block malware from coming in. They've got to be very suspect when they receive emails from people that they don't know. Clicking on links in emails is always dangerous. We, we live in a new society where the attackers have changed the vector. There's lots of ways in. People have to be alert to this attack. Yeah, and you're saying you don't have to be a well-known person. It's just they just can target anybody. Uh, actually, they, they are targeting everybody. It's spraying out malware to millions of people. They have botnets, which are, are thousands or, or hundreds of thousands of computers controlled by one person. They send out this malware to everybody that they can through spam email. Mm -hmm. More people they can get into their box, more potential dollars they're going to bring into their organization. And you say do not pay the ransom. Don't pay the ransom. Back up your files. All right, Sean Henry, we thank you.